What's up guys and gals, and here we are with our truck doing the most sacred of hobbies, carrying a guy with ammo around. I don't know where that came from. But here we are, we're playing State of Decay once again, a fantastic little game. As you guys now know, I never stop extolling its virtues to everyone. I really, really like this game, and I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it in the future too. I hope it gets like dozens of little State of Decay babies. Like I hope that State of Decay is allowed to breed and it has lots of expansions. That's how I think of expansions, have I ever mentioned that? To me, expansions are just like babies that are attached to the game. But anyways, in this episode, we need to swing this guy back to his house so that he can pay off the Wilkersons, who are getting downright nasty. They're kind of turning into a mafioso bunch of douchebags over the course of this whole apocalyptic societal meltdown type deal. And we're trying to be the nice guys right now. We have a surplus of ammunition. We're not actually losing ammunition anymore. So we can afford to give it away. Now, had it been anything else a little bit more important, like, say, food or construction supplies, I probably would have been tight-fisted and just let him suffer, or at least required some kind of trade. But for the time being, we are going to help out. We're going to be a good Samaritan and give him some of our things. I think we have to hang a righty right here. Yeah, you guys should know the map better than I do at this point. I've been playing this game long enough. We've got to be approaching, like, the 20-episode march. We're doing a... Or the 20 episode mark? The 20 episode march, I don't think, even with you guys in full force, we could organize a march. Strangely enough, most of you guys don't seem to be from California. I mean, go ahead and shout it out in the comments if you are, but in general, it seems like I have a very good European fan base and generally just everywhere but California. But then again, what do I know? I don't like put out a Nerd Castle census very often, so I don't know. Maybe you guys could do that down in the comments. Let me know where you're from. That'd be kind of cool learn where all you guys are from. I'm always interested in people that are from abroad and just other areas. Oh, we've actually got to take this back to the Wilkerson's by hand. Okay. I'm gonna make sure he pays it off rightly. I guess that only extends the trip by a little bit. We'll figure out something. Maybe we'll handle that uh, infection over there in that house. Or that infestation. We've pretty much looted everything over here from what I remember. They're not X'd out on the map, so maybe we'll hit that house over there too. Do a little bit of scavenging while we're away from our home territory, although eventually we're going to have to make it back. The game hasn't lit up any storyline missions for us, and I've heard that the game kind of tailor makes your storyline missions in a sort of strange way. And what I mean by that is the game actually looks at how much you play, and it spaces out your storyline missions depending. So let's say that I haven't played in a couple days. It could actually be a couple days of in-game time before I get to see another storyline mission pop up, and it does that on purpose so that you don't get bypassed by the storyline missions. Now, whether or not this is actually true, this is kind of secondhand knowledge, and the funny thing about learning stuff about video games is you're always kind of playing a game of telephone. And I've heard from some of my information donors that I play telephone with their words very, very vicariously. Like, I'm not so good at relaying information from them to the nerd castle, so I, I would suppose to show caution before you relay it to your friends as well. Looks like we stomped out some zombies there. The Wilkerson's going to owe us a little bit of labor. Level 2 blunt weapons. Very nice. I don't know why our pipe didn't count as a blunt weapon. We've been stomping people out all day with that thing. Let's give this to the Wilkerson's really quickly. Here you go. And what the hell is this? The rest of the ammo you're owed? That should clear the debt. Well, you boys didn't have a bullet to your name. This is from your stock, isn't it? <laughs> don't be an idiot. Why would it be from their stock? Well, does it clear the debt or not? Yeah, bullets are bullets. Don't much care where they came from. You can tell your sweethearts their debt's settled. The hell'd you do that for? I, I, I don't even know what to say. Thank you doesn't really cover it, does it? Forget about it. You'd have done the same for us. Well, yeah, I guess, but I mean, you couldn't really have known that. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer here, but I would say that he more than likely probably wouldn't have done that for us. Let me see what they got to loot here. What? They got an SMG? Hold on here. I'm actually going to take their weaponry because honestly, we have the extra influence anyways, so we might as well loot as many of their guns as we can. Secondly, the Wilkerson's are crazy as hell, and if we can take some guns out of their hands, I'm never going to cry about it. That also limits the amount of scavenging I can do, though, so maybe that was a bad idea. I'm going to jump in the car before this horde sees me. Maybe that was a little relative, but let's get the hell on out of here. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I don't know if I left that truck there previously, too. If so, that seems like the... 
a waste of a perfectly good truck. I hate to run over you. You notice how I paused right there. You have to savor the moment. Whenever you run over zombies, you just have to sit there and be like, oh, yeah. And just let it happen. Let it happen every time, to quote MXPX. Sometimes I wonder if there's a limit to the amount of things that I can reference. But then again, things from, like, my childhood just keep coming back to me. As I recall, this house was empty, and I'm not sure why it's not checked off my map. Maybe it doesn't exist. It's in house limbo right now. Or house purgatory. House surgatory. Purgaus? I don't know. I'm trying to mix words right now, but I just got nothing to work with. Trying to make a cocktail when all I have is bricks. We'll check this house out, too. Just to make sure we're not leaving any backpacks or anything behind. There could be, like, an ammo stash here. There could be just about anything. This also gives me a nice opportunity to work on that shooting score. Let's see if we can get a little bit of shootery leveled up. Looks like we got a reload on our hands. Ooh, and I'm pulling things down the road with me. Never mind. Let's get on out of here before we get completely swamped. I'm going to see if this bug works. I heard you take less damage if you just back into zombies the entire time. And I think the bumper just ruptured out the front even though I hit them with the back. So I'm going to say that that may have been patched and fixed. Possibly, actually, in the last couple days, they added a weird patch that sort of... I thought that house was infested just now. Maybe it's a different one. Oh, it's that one over there. I'm going to ignore it for just a moment, and I'm going to go to one of our stock houses over here, and we're going to scavenge up in this northern area again, because we haven't really been up here recently. And I think there's a few houses left over, and that's going to save me some time. Construction supplies are what we're really, really hurting for. So if I can grab those, that would actually bring me up to a level of satisfaction that is a bit more satisfactory than what I'm currently feeling. Without us in the area, I'd be willing to lay wages, though, or at least cast lots that there's probably a lot of zombies up here that we need to deal with. There's a feral right there as we speak. I don't really want to deal with ferals right now. Attention citizens. We've had reports of armed civilians attempting to force our patrols to provide supplies. Be advised that I have authorized our troops to respond to such measures with lethal force. For your own safety, remain in your homes and wait for this to blow over. I believe they already said that it's been like months though. Where is this feral at? I know he's hiding out here. There he is. I just don't want that feral to exist any longer. Like one feral can just royally wreck your day. You never know. Like if a feral shows up at the wrong moment, that could be the end of a character. And since we're controlling like a storyline character right now, I'd prefer for that never to happen. I'm going to run up in here and see if I can deposit some of these supplies. It should put one of these right here so that I can. Yeah, there it is. So let's deposit some of this stuff so I can get back out there and scavenge. That's also going to give me a straight beeline to resupply myself. This has been all over the radio lately. Here's the location. We need to clear this infestation out. Which one? Let's have a look here. Is it close? Or is it just that one? Okay, it's down there. A bloated Zed hunt. There's actually not a lot of things happening up and in this region. So let's scavenge a little bit. We've got a construction site right here. I don't know if it'll let me drop off construction supplies to any of these remote locations. I doubt that it will. Just because the game seems to be semi-obsessed with making me run back home a million times a day, but... How did that happen? What has gone wrong here? That was super janky. So we've got construction supplies. There's the fuel right there. I don't really want the fuel. The fuel isn't kind of jiggle my jimmy in the way that I would like. I prefer to get my jiggy <laughs> my jimmy jiggled elsewhere like buy some construction supplies just with a nice 2x4 maybe. Where are those at though? It's saying there's but oh it's medical supplies. Never mind, I'm not paying attention properly. Let's jump out the window then because doors are overrated. And society's rules, we've thrown them out the window, so it's just as likely that we would jump out with them. Let's go on over here. And there's a lone zombie that is now a victim. A lone, lone victim. Looks like our... I think those firebombs are coming from our supply location. Oh, we've got a bloater over here. Hold on. Let me see what I can do with him. I don't know if he explodes... Shortly after? I think we're still okay. Is that the zombie that I ran over? Wow, that is a resilient zombie. Let me reload really quickly, and I'm actually kind of nervous about this guy because his red dot didn't disappear. Yeah, that's what I was concerned about. There it is. Okay. My concerns are now laid to rest. We actually have to... So, we've got a visitor. 
one of Joe Wilkerson's guys. So, what does he want? Something about a favor? I don't know, just hurry home, okay? I don't like the way he's looking at me. Alright, so it sounds like Lily's being eyeballed by a dangerous stranger, so I'm gonna actually... Yeah, I think we should probably head home on this one. I don't want to... With the Wilkerson's reputation, I just don't want to leave this one to chance. So let's get back out there. I know we've been doing a lot of driving lately. But in the interest of maintaining any... I'll check this out next. You can't do everything yourself. Come home and rest. Somebody else can pick up the slack. Yeah, but in the interest of keeping, like, terrible things from happening, I think I'm just going to try and get home now. We may swap out the car shortly. Since this one's kind of beat up, maybe deposit it along the side of the road here. Yeah, let's grab a new truck. Wait, what's happened here? I thought my truck was smoking. Never mind. We don't need to make it smoke the whole pack or anything. Like, are these smoking jokes getting old? They've got to be getting old. They've got to be just like chicken shoots at this point. What am I doing here? Am I on the wrong road? I am. As always. No, zombie! No! Get off my bumper! Get off! Eh. Eh. Get off! I'm going to back over you. I'm going to back over you like crazy. I'm going to back over you so tenderly right now, zombie, that you don't even know what kind of tender backing over is coming. Let's get off down our secret hidey hole road here. Our secret. I don't know where the R went in that word. I said secret. Secret's not even a word. Although that sounds like somebody that's like a female seek, maybe? A secret? That's the best I can do, guys. That was the best I'm able to do with that. It's limited material. As soon as we get back to base, hopefully everybody's okay. The Wilkerson's don't strike up a whole lot of trust on my part, just simply because they've gone through the countryside brutalizing everybody as of yet. Where the hell am I? Oh, well, okay. I'll take it. I, I get confused sometimes. I'm just like, where in the hell am I? I get to talking, and I just stop paying attention. I think that's the main problem, is that once I start talking to you guys, I lose all semblance of intellectual acuity. Let's get on back down here. Nothing going on at the Grange, luckily. We can borrow some of their supplies a little bit later. The Grange, a surprising amount of ammunition considering how few guns they have. I'm, I don't know why, and I'm gonna take out these porta potties again just because I can. There's something humorous about running over a porta potty. What would be really amazing is if the developers occasionally put a zombie inside the porta potty, like somebody that just got killed on the John, and you can just wipe them out and launch them down into the creek. And that wipe them out pun, I didn't intend that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bow out on that one. I'm not gonna claim it. Got a bunch of busted ass cars parked in front of our house. I thought they'd get repaired because we have a workshop now, but maybe I'm forgetting. I may have vetoed the building of a workshop in interest of. Can I, uh, can I help you? Job sent me. Wants to ask a favor of you. Okay. We got a big trade going down with them folks over at the ranch house. But they want some kind of neutral observer, whatever the fuck. Job figured maybe you'd put their minds at ease. What do you say? You'll get a cut of the deal, of course. Provided it all goes according to plan. Well, here, give me a minute. Uh-uh. Fair enough. If you change your mind, though, here's the address. Oh, you're not going to stay here? All right, then. I was just going to swap out to Marcus really quickly. Because Marcus is our friend. What's up? And honestly, he's pretty much our ultimate badass at this point. Got a firebomb. He's got the 22. I'm actually going to load him up with something a little bit more hefty before we go meet the Wilkerson's. Simply because I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. And how, can I, how far can I throw a human being? Not very far. In the interest of honesty, not very far. So he's got a hoe. He's also got a chopper. Let's grab something that can actually lay down a little bit of chop if we need it to. I'm thinking the assault rifle. Let's go with the assault rifle for now. So we need some 5.56. Five, Do we even have any? There it is right there. Okay, I was going to say, it's a little worrying when you don't have any assault rifle rounds, but let's be on our way. Where's this guy at? Is he still here? We got a big trade. Whatever you say. Great. Here's the address. You pick up the folks at the ranch, make sure they get there okay. Mickey and Joe will meet you there. Grab it! Down they go. So let's get on the road again. One more time. I feel like I'm going to need some, like, some Phantom 409, like... Mafia? Wait, what? I just don't think we should be so friendly with them, you know? I mean, yeah, not many people left, stupid to burn bridges, yada yada yada, I get that. But these are bad people. The only reason they haven't turned on us yet is because they're getting what they want from us. 
For now, it's a good enough reason. It's bad enough fighting zombies. I don't want to fight the Wilkinsons, too. Okay. It's your call. For the record, if this turns out to be a trap, I'm totally claiming I told you so rights for a week. Also, you're on cleanup duty. Have fun! Yep. The uh, significant other is a big fan of those I told you so rights as well. I'm gonna, to be fair though, if you gotta go, if you gotta go tit for tat, you gotta give tit where tat is due, so, let's see here, I enjoy the I told you so rights as well, I was trying to navigate right there and I lost my train of thought, who doesn't love saying I told you so, and yes, that was a Trailer Park Boys reference, it is one of my favorite shows, considering a large portion of my family comes from Trailer Park people, so I find that show to be hilarious, I told you so, I totally told you so, it's called an egg corn linguistically, do you guys know that? Like all of those things, you know how Ricky in Trailer Park Boys, he messes up the words that he says all the time? Those are called acorns. I don't know how I know that, but I know that's what they're called. As for helping the Wilkerson's out, I see this as kind of keeping them, if they're messing with everybody else in town, they're not messing with us, and that gives us time to marshal our forces. God, this gun is so amazing, I can't wait to use it on somebody. Did I say somebody? I meant a zombie. So where's this deal going down? Yeah, let's do this thing. Oh, this is just a pickup point. Okay. Huh. Didn't figure you for Job's cronies. Always heard you folks were decent sorts. I'm just here to make sure the trade goes nice and smooth. Then you best watch the Wilkerson. I trust them about as far as a two-headed snake. A two-headed snake. If you said a two-faced snake, I think that would have gone a little better, and plus it would apply it would imply the two-headedness. I mean, how can you have two faces? I guess you could have two faces, like one on the front and like one on the side of your head. All crazy style. Never mind. I hate it when my diatribes go south on me, and like logically, I'm just like, well, I've run out of road. I have logically run out of highway. I suppose I'll pull over. Let's make sure. I mean, I'm trying to look out for you guys here. It's not that I don't trust you or that I'm a lackey. It's that really I don't trust the Wilkerson's not to blaze you guys out here. I wish I could make that clear to them. So, you got what we asked for? It's all right here. Hope you brought something worthwhile. It ain't wise to cross me. Here you go, as promised. Well, that just about ought to do it. Appreciate you taking care of this for us. Now, why don't you run along? You hear me? Is anything else going on here? I'm a little confused, but we can leave the radius of this little circle on the map. This a dotted circle. I may actually come back to this location. I haven't, like, raided anything out here on the outskirts of town. And getting it now might be a good idea. Oh, no way. Did he just blaze all those people? You gotta be kidding me. He, he killed all those people? What? Hold on. Ooh, that was a good one. Hold on now. I can't be having that. No way. He paid us in ammo, but we got people killed. Those look like zombies, though. Well, then. I kind of feel like an asshole right now. I sort of wish that I had known a little bit better how that was going to go down. Let's clean this place out first before we go any further. I prefer to get things done before we actually waste our time driving all the way back to base, especially since we came all the way out here anyways. And drop stomp from a terrible camera angle! Let me get this zombie too. Is there another one over here? There's got. I thought there was one we hadn't killed yet. Oh, we got dead guys everywhere. God, I feel guilty right now. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but I always feel guilty when I get people killed in video games. I just don't feel good about it. This place looks clear, although I'm going to look at this final dot just to make sure. Or anything in the back, possibly? We should totally bring all these arcade games. I miss arcades. Have I ever mentioned that, that I was like a big arcade kid? I loved spending quarters at arcades. I miss the arcade days, but consoles pretty much stomp those buggers out. Drop kit. Ooh, that was a good one. Give him a nice pop crack there. It's always important to tailor your pops with cracks. 
think Rice Krispies taught me that one. You'll forgive the delay, I was trying to survey properly. Looks like this place is pretty much scavenged out, actually. There's a survey point on top of the Brontosaurus. Somebody had asked me down in the tips, or down in the comments, I'm sorry. Somebody asked me down in the comments why I don't scout things. It's because typically there's too many things to scout and it kind of slows down the LP. Makes it sort of boring. I don't think you guys want to like see me turn circles for five minutes trying to lock down all the survey points. Check this bathroom. It looks like it's pretty much, yeah. Everything's been hit out here. I don't know if that was as a result of the Wilkerson's, but nothing for us to take, unfortunately. Guess at this point we'll just head on home. We'll grab one of these backpacks and we'll hope for the best. Hopefully nobody else hears that, but I mean, I'm going to keep the secret to myself. I don't want to be pinned for getting people killed. Next time the Wilkerson's act for help, I suppose we'll say no. I mean, I'm on to them now. As of before, I didn't know they were whacking people left and right. Now that I know they're actually snuffing out innocent people, I, I can't be going along with that sort of deal. I don't want to be one of those people that, like, in the end credits gets tasked with kind of a... <laughs> What's the name of that guy? There's a guy who's like a bad guy in every 80s movie ever. And I just talked about him with somebody, too. He was in the Warriors. He was T-Bird and the Crow. God, what was that guy? David Kelly, I think, is his name? Is that his name? David Kelly? I'm sure somebody will fact check for me. I don't want to be the David Kelly of this trip, assuming I'm quoting the right name. Let's see if we can get ourselves all the way down here. God, that was the best line ever in the Warriors. Just, I like doing stuff like that. That was the great- I love the Warriors. I don't know if you guys knew this or if I've ever brought it up, but the Warriors is one of my favorite movies. It's just a great, great film. I really wish they would make like a free-roaming video game after it. And not like the one on the PlayStation. That one was like mission-based. I'm talking like a real, actual, like free-roaming, here is New York City, run around, make your own gang, and like claim your own turf. You can like beef with the Warriors, or you can snuff them out. Just everything. Oh, that would be such a great game. I would be so excited about that game. So, developers, if you're out there, let's kind of make that happen, yeah? State of Decay developers after this game, huh? Huh? A Warriors free roaming game? Come on, you know you want to. You, come on. Come on. You know you want to. Drop stomp. Hoo-ah! And then I smack you with a hoe. I'm good at wielding hoes. Marcus is the pimp of the West. Just wielding hoes like crazy with all the finesse he can muster. None of that gorilla pimp stuff out here. No, sir, we do it with finesse. Did you guys know that there are different kinds of pimps? That's right, you can be a gorilla pimp, you can be a finesse pimp. I know this because I wikipedia pimp. I like to wikipedia weird things and just see what I learn. Is there anything in this house? There's food? Well, we could use food, especially if we're going to trade it. Maybe trade some food for some construction supplies with somebody, since we haven't managed to be able to run around and find much. This is Charlie 6, we're en route to the carnival, requesting access. Hello? Watchtower. Hey, will you assholes stop jerking off and open the damn gates? Come on, goddammit, we're right here on the bridge. How do you not see us? Charlie Six to anyone receiving. Where the hell is everybody? Uh-oh. Sounds like uh, Watchtower had a little bit of an accident there. Definitely had a little bit of an accident, but I think that's going to be our next storyline mission, which makes me excited. Let's see how many of these zombies we can finish off here. There we go. Kill off a few more. What about you? What, you want some? And down he goes. But that was really, really, actually, oh, there's a shed back here. Let's go check the maintenance shed and see if there's anything that's going to be useful for us. Should knock the vast majority of these guys back. I love it. I absolutely love it when a door actually, like, levels all the, ooh, an empty warehouse. That's how they're going to do me, huh? They're going to do me like that. Well, that is not cool. I don't like being done in that fashion. Being done in that fashion leaves me in an overall sour disposition, but I'll get on my truck and I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm going to let it slide, warehouse. I'm going to let your discre I'm going to let your you slighted me. You have slighted me like crazy, but I'm going to let it slide for now. I think this is a reasonable spot to break off the episode. So as I drive back to base here, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerdcastle for another fun-filled episode of State of Decay. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. I hope you're still having fun with me here. I know I am. This game is just endlessly entertaining. I'm probably going to have like 30 playthroughs if I had to say it. I, I'm just going to drive around causing mayhem. I'm just going to gather weapons up and just cause all kinds of ridiculous carnage, I think, in my next playthrough. But I'll see you guys next time and take care out there, everybody.